guys, it's Wogwa and welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be doing a video on the best Minecraft clients for maximum performance. So the way that I'm going to do this experiment is I am going to do a game in Bed Wars using each client with default settings. And then I'm going to hop into a survival Minecraft world. And then I'm going to do a game with the best performance settings applied for each client. All right, guys, so we're here in game. Um, I'm not using shaders at the moment, so the game's gonna look not as colorful. I'm using Luna's built-in lighting mod. It's not as nice, but you know, it is what it is. For a fair comparison for this client test, I'm not gonna be using any texture packs. This person is coming in hot, and I haven't played Bed Wars in like a couple of days, so... Like, this is, like, not a good test already. I am averaging about 600 FPS right now. I am not gonna lie to you. Ooh! My game just tabbed. Hello? So, Luna Client is best for better performance overall, a cleaner interface with your mod menu here, and better cosmetics. I love Luna Client's cosmetics so much. They have the best capes. Blue is, like, dominating. I swear. Heber. Oh my god, red is coming! It's me and red! I'm gonna get sharpness. Oh my god, they're very strong, bro. I can't get any hits! I swear! So I'm here in some survival Minecraft. We're gonna get some wood, make some tools, and head off to a cave. 1,100 FPS just looking up to the sky, brother. I knew that heaven was a good place. All right, so we're gonna make our crafting table. There's some animals over here, so we're just gonna kill them real quick. And oh my God, creeper, brother. Like, I swear. I'm averaging such a good FPS in this cave, 700 to 800. This is why I love Luna Client, but uh, we will see throughout this test and this experiment if any clients surprise me because i am curious i am curious we're gonna kill these cows here this family of cows i'm really sorry that i have come through and i have decided to pretty much massacre your entire family give me your meat this fbs guys like take this in just the client with no tweaks 600 average fbs i definitely approve of learner client give it a try Okay, so now we are going to add the best performance settings to Luna Client. So the first setting you want to go to is go to settings, performance. Make sure that your particle physics is turned off. After we finish with performance, we're going to go and head over to general. Scroll down until you find use simplified emote model and turn this off. After you are finished with the general section, head back to performance and go to hide foliage. Turn this on, okay? We are going to go to max unfocused FPS and we are going to have this at an average of 30 FPS. For our max main menu FPS, we want to have this at 120. We're going to head back to general. We're going to scroll down and we're going to go to the cosmetic options and we are going to turn off show cloth cloak. We are going to turn off show suits. We are going to turn off shoes and backpacks. Turn off neckwear. We're going to turn off bodywear. We're going to turn off show cosmetic particles. Turn off masks and turn off belts. Yeah, after you've completed that, scroll down and we're going to also turn off show emote particles. Okay, so we're going to head into performance and we are going to change the lazy chunk loading to low. All right, so those are the settings applied and I am noticing a difference right away. I am averaging averaging 700 fps i have literally doubled the fps i'm pretty sure i was averaging about like four five hundred before i am averaging pretty much close to almost 800 fps this is insane so badline is best for their built-in mods there is over a hundred mods in this client much more than luna offers i'm pretty sure luna offers around 70 i could be wrong about that number there's definitely a bigger mod list so they definitely have that advantage over luna so far as well as bad lines focus on pvp gameplay through replay mod they are also focused on consistent frame rate the frame rate is slightly lower than luna client but stable overall when it comes to fps so it's pretty consistent oh my god they're literally hitting me with a big axe what's happening oh my god well we got them gg i am averaging around 400 fps so there is a difference it jumps up to about 500 but on luna i get up to 800 so there is a big difference so far 
Okay, I like how he just got my bed and he left. Thanks, bravo. Um, another thing I'd like to point out so far is the client definitely doesn't feel as smooth as Luna. They just jumped into the void. God, please. Minecraft world. We did not talk about bed walls rounds because clearly I'm a noob. I have to get better. All right, so I have all my tools here now. I think the claim of the consistent FPS compared to Luna is definitely true because Luna was jumping up and down between 300 to 800. All right, so we found a cave. Finally, after how long? This cave goes deep. Oh my god. Holy shit. There's a whole bunch of them. I'm gonna die. Please, I'm gonna die. I'm literally, I cannot. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, now for the best settings that we can apply to Badline for maximum performance. All right, so we're gonna head over to our settings. We are going to go to better frames. We're gonna turn off entity FPS boost and we are going to turn on fast entity collision. Scroll down and we are going to click hide stuck arrows. Then what we're gonna do is go to graphics. We are going to turn off our weather and our dirt screen. We're also gonna turn off scrollable tooltips. Then we're gonna head back into better frames. We're gonna click hide flowers and hide double tool flowers. Hide maps in item frames. We're gonna click hide particle lighting and lava particles. Head over to the cosmetics section and we are going to turn off cosmetic particles, spray sound. I'm also gonna turn off shields. So we're just gonna go about our survival world things with these settings. So far, it is a bit of an increase. We're going up to 500, which is good. Definitely boosted a bit. We're averaging about 500 now, just walking through the main lands of this world. It's gonna be really interesting to see how these settings work for other people. But so far for me, um, I'm definitely seeing some boosts here. Feather client is best for mod support. Feather client supports both fabric and forge mods directly from the launcher. So it makes it easy to play a modded Minecraft. Oh, gray's going into white. Let's go, dude, behind you. Behind you, fish. Dude is lost. He's gone. Feather client is made to be an FPS client. It's supposed to prioritize high frame rates in the game. So, you know, so far I've been averaging about 500. Oh, because I keep dying. All right, so we're here in the survival world. So we're just going to do what we're doing all the other times. Okay, so I've made my tools here. So far, I mean, 900 to 1,000 FPS almost. Like, this is definitely pushing even more than Luna did. This is crazy. So, yeah, this has been a very insightful full experience using these clients pushing luna client right now like we're pushing 800 fps right now guys this is crazy okay we've so had a whole bunch of animals in one area here yes probably come here like a thousand like this is just crazy it's actually pushing a thousand to a hundred giving luna a run for its money here now we are going to put in the best settings for maximum performance in feather client we come to our mod screen and we are going to head to performance once we're in performance we're going to change the lazy chunk loading to low head over to the cosmetics tab we are going to turn off shields and auras i'm actually noticing that i'm averaging about 600 fps now so i think i might have actually dropped an fps from putting in those settings so i think with this client it's probably just best to just go in and not fiddle with any settings yeah i was definitely averaging a lot more fps before just moving around the world here i hope this video was insightful for you guys to be able to choose which client would be best suited for you but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys